The readings for today, from the Acts of the Apostles and the Gospel of John, invite us to consider what it means to be called Christians and to belong to the flock of Christ. In the first reading from Acts 11 verses 19 to 26, we hear of the early disciples who, despite persecution, proclaimed the good news to both Jews and Greeks. Their faithfulness and devotion led to many conversions, and it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. This was not just a label, it was an identity that carried the weight of their conviction and the transformation of their lives. The responsorial psalm, Psalms 87 verses 1 to 7, sings of the glory of Zion, the city of God, where all are born anew. It is a metaphor for the church, the new Jerusalem, where we are reborn in the spirit and become citizens of heaven. The gospel, according to John 10 verses 22 to 30, presents us with the image of Jesus as the good shepherd. He knows his sheep, and his sheep know him. They listen to his voice and follow him. This intimate relationship between the shepherd and the sheep is the model for our relationship with Christ. We are his, he is ours, and nothing can snatch us from his hand. On this feast of St. George, we are reminded of the courage it takes to claim our Christian identity in a world that may not understand or accept it. Like St. George, we are called to be witnesses to the truth, to stand up for our beliefs, and to follow Christ wherever he leads us. May this homily inspire you to embrace your identity in Christ, to listen for his voice, and to follow him with all your heart. God bless you all.